activity button to play. It's very easy then for a child to spend a lot of time playing on their iPad, playing on other forms of technology, playing games. And although some skills, important skills, are developed through that, particularly some cognitive skills, and possibly the capacity to concentrate and see something through, which are important skills, a lot is lost by spending too much time on those things. We asked the parents that we interviewed when their babies were six to nine months old what they thought about technology and interestingly very few of them at that stage, whether mothers or fathers, really favoured the use of technology. And of course the babies were very young then, it, it'll probably be different when their babies are a year older and we don't have that data. These games and technologies have an addictive side to them, especially the games, because you want to go back for more. They're designed to get us to keep coming back and back and back, and lots of technology, lots of technology is designed to do that. And it will, in effect, trigger certain hormones in our bodies as well, the dopamine system, which drives us towards things all the time. And, but we're never quite satisfied. It's a different biological system to the one that makes us feel at ease, loved, cared for, when you're sitting at your mum's lap, when you're gazing in somebody's eyes, when you're having fun and enjoying yourself. Completely different bodily systems are involved in that. Billy! Hiya. Billy? Yeah, I don't know. She just said, oh, she's got... She's probably... Yeah, she did a Coming up to a year, you'd expect all kinds of things to have really taken root in the child's personality. They should already be able to, by then, be able to work out what their mum is thinking and feeling. Should I go over there? Is she disapproving of me? They should be able to work out if somebody else is sad or upset or angry and then respond to that. They should have quite finely honed skills to make sense of the emotional world and also beginning to be able to make sense of their own emotional world. If they're spending too long on this technology, they're not going to have it in the same way. Are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It might be that boys are more attracted than girls naturally and there's a, a big school of thought that suggests that boys are more attracted for example to things like trucks and f within the first weeks of life w toy trucks etc and girls are much more attracted to faces but what we do and that might be linked with things like prenatal testosterone level in fact which is quite interesting but also we adapt to whatever environment we find ourselves in and if we find ourselves in an environment which is just full of this technology that's what will end those are the skills we'll end up having
we have a series of uh, hypotheses, of questions, research questions that we're pursuing through this cohort. And one of them actually is, you know, how uh, exposure to the broader environment in some of the uh, electromagnetic fields, for example, in, in the new technologies, may or may not impact in, on children's health. So, <laughs> 